Hey, welcome back to episode 6 of our Spirit Tea Let's Play. Very excited. I am actually recording the same day that I recorded episode 5. And I don't know. I don't know why. I just... I wanted to come back. I, I kind of had a feeling I was going to come back and record. But I wasn't... Oh, wow. But I wasn't sure. It's 6 a.m. Okay. We can actually go and check. I need to turn in because it's so hot. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, let's go check the community board. Talk to our neighbors. Yep, we got that fixed last episode. I've got good news. It seems what... I I've got good news. It seems whatever creature was getting into the garden has found greener pas pa Ooh. Wow. pastures. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Girl. Alright, let's make sure that we're also... Okay, so in the last episode, we were able to level up our friendship with Kim, I believe. So... Um, let's see. I want to see if I'm able to ask her... Okay, that is her, right? Yeah, alright. I want to see if I'm able to ask her if she can help out. But I'm just not like entirely sure if I don't know, I'm not sure I'm not sure how it works. Oh no, long time no see. I've been holding on to this doll for you. I know you didn't ask for it and might not even like it, but I saw it and thought of you. Girl, stop! Little peach doll, I love it! You're so cute. Thanks, Kim. Hey, how are you? I, uh, bought you something the other day. Don't worry. It was on sale and wasn't super expensive. I hope you like it. Oh my god! <laughs> Kim, wait! In a minute. Can that duck eat my algae? <laughs> hey, buddy. You explained that you could use some help running a bathhouse for spirits. What are you talking about? I explained the whole situation. What does that mean? What are you saying? Spirits are just hanging around our town? And that they enjoy going to a bathhouse from time to time? Yeah, a little bit. Wow, you almost got me. Um, sure. Come on, you're not serious, are you? Fine, if you're going to push the joke this far, then I'll bite. I'll see you at the bathhouse, you liar. Okay, I mean, you, you, you say. Uh, hold on, before we go there, I want to go up here. Okay, whatever. Is this something in my backpack? Is that what it is? I've had the seed bag in there for like the longest. Um, let's just deposit the seed bag into my chest. Deposit, seed bag, and the shovel. Um, obviously, we're going to open my backpack and set out this little peach doll. Can I put it on here? Bruh. Cute. <laughs> Very cute. I definitely want to get some more decorations going on in here because it's a tad bit boring. Just a tad. The side tape. display oh my god yes let's put it can i put it outside i can yes cute 
I love it. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to... Oops. Oh, no, don't quit. Jesus Christ. But like I was saying, I do want to renovate and, like, get furnishing, furnishing for my house. I think it'll look good. It's a little bland. I haven't really done, like, any re decorating or reorganization. So, there's that. Alright, so I know Sujin has had this issue for, like, the longest. Um, let's go talk to Julian. And hopefully he'll be able to tell us some stuff. I know we've talked to Sujin before. Um, and she just kind of says the same things over and over again. Sorry. I think I called him Toby in the last episode. Whoops. Moby is the, is the guy's name. Um, okay. So it looks like he's still there. I'm like, they're usually up by... Creepy. <laughs> they're usually up by nine anyways. So hopefully... Julian is still asleep. What day is it today? Today's Saturday. Okay, I don't know what time he's gonna get up. Dang, I slammed the mess out of that door. Bro. Ooh, game. Um, alright. So since we're gonna since we're we're having to wait for Julian. We can just go ahead and head to the bathhouse. Um, I'm definitely gonna put that duck there because if that duck can eat the algae, then I'm gonna be so grateful. <laughs> this pumpkin is just not putting in the work. She's just not putting in the work. I don't think there would be anything in her downstairs. Um, this is just the cooking area. Maybe I have to unlock up here. No. Oh. <gasps> oh, shut up. This is how I figure it out. Okay, so we have Aram. RM? Question mark? Phineas. There's nothing on Phineas. There's nothing on Borzo. There's nothing on Father Rog. There's nothing on Mora Nova. How come there was only information on that one spirit? There's no information. Why is there, why is there only information on um, Aram? Interesting, okay. Whoa, Fed. Julian, my god. Oh, this is so cool, actually. Cool didn't want his picture taken. <laughs> Radish song. Oh, man. Wait, now I want to fill these out. These are so cool. Oh, there's one person missing. You know what? I really don't talk to Yumi and Yari like that. They're like the people, the two people I really don't be seeing like that in the town. And then Ling, I just haven't spoken to Ling. I've seen her. Just haven't spoken. Same with Gail. I think Gail is the blue-haired 
girly. I don't know why it's acting like I haven't spoken to Bruce before. I've definitely spoken to Bruce. I'm not sure what all of this is. But okay, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Spicy kimchi stew. Well, if we need it, then we know what arm likes. Um. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just wait until pumpkin is done eating before I do anything. All right, so I don't think this episode is going to be bathhouse focused um, until I can figure out how to get Miss Kim, our bestie, to help us out. I have a feeling I might need to unlock. Girl, how? I haven't done anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, anyways, that's weird. Um, but yeah, until I feel like I have a feeling I need to unlock some more some more of the wings like there's a left link the, the left wing okay the left wing that i need that i still need to unlock and then there's the um the upper part yeah the overgrown stairs that i need to unlock so i don't know but let, hopefully julian is up julian dude it is 1 p.m what are you still girl all right, let's go talk to Sujin just to kind of refresh our memory on what's going on. Looks like she's there's a few people in her boat. Oh, it's Kim. Hey, girl. Nothing. I was like, oh my god, she just called me. Okay, Julian is so ticked off at work recently. I can hear him banging pots around and slamming th things together. I'm worried he's gonna cut off his finger or something. Okay. I mean, we can't really do anything until Julian gets up. So it's like, what to do? Oh, I don't know how to do that. Um. really know why I'm feeling exhausted but okay okay Julian is still in bed so we're I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sleep because this shit is crazy who are you oh Yumi I have lots of free time every weekday after I'm done with work it's a bit scary being up on the third floor of, a, of an apartment building. Girl, who are you thinking of? Yeah, we're just gonna sleep, because I'm not exactly sure why I'm feeling so exhausted, but... Whatever. I'm probably gonna sleep through Sunday as well. Just so I can get Julian up because apparently the man just doesn't <laughs> doesn't want to get up It's 10 a.m. Monday morning. Hopefully, Mr. Julian is up and at him. No, he's not. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Oh, we have mail. 
Hey, how's the book going these days? My own game project is coming along slowly but surely. That said, I could really go for a drink over at least food, food stall. Let me know from Eric. Who is Eric? Oh, oh, oh. Am I just being dumb? Where did Julian just go? Oh, I see him. Oh, I see Julian. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> okay, wait, where is... I mean, not Julian. I see Eric. Alright, Julian is heading down somewhere. This man is on a mission. Up here he is. God damn it all. Where does it keep going? What's wrong? Oh, sorry, Anna. I'm just super frustrated right now. I haven't permanently scared you off, hey? That's good, at least. I'm in the middle of dealing with some sort of food thief. I don't know what the heck is going on, but somehow large portions or sometimes whole meals are going missing in my restaurant. I've already questioned Sujin about it and... Honestly, she doesn't seem like the type to steal. Doesn't she work there? I would hope not. <laughs> not to mention, sometimes the food goes missing right under my very nose. Sometimes before it's even done cooking. I haven't seen anything shady either, which is why it's just so irritating. Please let me know if you see anything out of the ordinary around here. I'm like, that didn't really tell me anything. <laughs> One yen. Advice. So Julian has a food thief, ne? In the off chance it's a spirit responsible, let's keep our eyes peeled. For what? Um... Okay, <laughs> let's look at another one. So this one was next to the community reminder. Just a family reminder that desecrating someone's artwork is extremely uncool. Let's all respect each other and our belongings. Your friendly neighborhood painter. Who is that, Lee? Um, wow, he really does live in a van. It's crazy. All right, let's go check him out. See what's, what's going on with him. Nope. Maru excitedly dropped something at your feet. Oh, cute! Oh, they didn't even go after it, though. Well, what do you think? Is it a masterpiece in the making? Not bad, not bad. Lukewarm response, huh? Just you wait. I'll show you in the whole world. I love a good second opinion, so please come and see my canvas whenever you can. I'm often out here painting between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. every mo. Every m mo? What does that mean? Anyway, I'm gonna... Or take a picture of that. I like to call Monday and Wednesday. Song is kind enough to let me loiter around her shop and use her old retro gaming console. We should loiter there together. Oh, you like the sing? Alright, sure, we can go. Um... Um, been out here painting between 9 and 3. Yeah, so he shouldn't be painting after 3, so we can go check that out. Um, I mean, since we're up here, we can also go check out the restaurant. Just to see if there's anything suspicious going on in here. Oh! Look who it is. 
Nyah, found you, thief. What's this? A spirit and a mortal dressing me? Mmm, dressing. Hey, hey, focus. What are you doing here? Patience, young ones. I was getting to that. As you can see, I'm enjoying the savory dishes our talented friend here is creating. <laughs> you better stop it. Stop it? Why ever would I do that? Why ever why I do that? Okay, okay, whatever. Why ever would I do that? I'm a valued and paying customer, just like anybody else. I've been leaving him the finest seashells I came up I've been leaving him the finest seashells I come across, as well as any solid and substantial chunks of lead I could find. I've been leaving them where I know he'll see them. In his shoes, of course. Chunks of Are you serious right now, Gramps? Seashells and lead haven't been used for currency here for hundreds, probably thousands of years. They're not used anymore. Well, I can't be expected to keep up with how fast you youngins move these days. Besides, I simply won't stop until I've tasted this lad's unbelievable soup one more time. Sir. Sir, I think it's time to retire, sir. I'm pretty sure the sun will burn out before this geezer has figured out technology from Stone Age. Fine. What soup are you talking about? Anna here can ask him to make you some. Oh, truly? I know nothing about the soup other than the lingering heat it has left on my tongue. I'm grateful for your help as he hasn't made any in it quite some time. I know because I've been taste testing. Oh. Yeah, well, seriously stop it. He's going to burst a blood vessel. He's gonna burst a blood vessel through this is waifu, sorry. He's gonna burst a blood vessel, he's so angry. Come on, let's ask Julian to make this stubborn old fool a bowl of soup and be done with it. I don't really feel like smacking this geezer will do any good. This maybe not. Um, I need to hold on. Brb, I need to get. I need to. Uh, what you call it? I need to get more. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Jesus. All right, we are back. Let's ask Julian to make some spicy soup. Soup? I make all kinds of soup. I guess you could be talking about my family's famous recipe. It's not a big secret or anything. I lent the recipe to Tifa a couple of weeks ago. Uh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I gotta go get, get it from Tifa, I see. Making me run around. If you say it's a family recipe, then it's a family recipe that you don't share, weirdo. Anyways, where's Tifa? Okay, I see her. I see her. Looks like she's in coffee. Miss Teef Teef! Uh, a recipe? Oh my gosh, Anna. Julian is definitely going to kill me. Did you lose it? I don't know how, but I somehow lost his family soup recipe. He got it from his mom and really cherishes it. I don't know who or what took it. I saw these weird little scratchy, scratchy looking footprints leading from my tea field to the western beach. I walked to the beach but couldn't find anything. Oh, he's gonna cut me up and make me into soup. Julian's so nice once you get to know him, but he's still got a very scary and dangerous side to him. Girl, please help me find the recipe, Anna. It's got to be on the western beach somewhere. I'll owe you big time if you can find it. Do I have to fish for it? Because <laughs> if I have to fish for it, then I am in bad luck. Because um, I don't know how to get rid of my sticky keys. But I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Maybe I can change my settings. We should be good. Let's hit up these stores. We need a crimson soup, a demon pepper, and soy sauce. Super cute. All right, what do you have for me? Oh, it's so, okay. I didn't see that. My bad. Okay, anyways. Um grass, shrimp, spicy pepper. Oh, 
oh it tells you oh it tells you okay so i need to boil it i was like how do you know <laughs> it tells you all right we'll wait for that all right and then we need the soup the soy sauce and then the demon pepper and we're going to boil this. Let's go. Okay. My room is looking a mess. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we need to go talk to who was it? I completely forgot. Who was it? Maybe if we go to um Tifa. Do we have to talk to Tifa first? Let me see. Let me see where Tifa Tifa is. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go talk to Tifa first and then we'll talk to Julian. Hello, Sor. Okay. Did you see Yari? He looked pretty beat up and I and like covered in scratches and feathers. It was super weird, poor guy. The ravens attacked him? Far away. Far away. Here. Teeth, teeth. You found it. Thank the spirits. You've really saved my skin, Anna. I don't even want the recipe anymore. Just hold on to it, please. And please take this for potentially saving my life. <laughs> An expensive looking statue. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Tifa. <laughs> Alright, is Julian. Yes, he is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We love this. Oh, thank God. Please tell me you have another bird's nest. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know, Ido. I know. Please tell me you have enough. <gasps> I don't have enough money. How long how long is he here for? Question mark. A space heater. Okay, we definitely need, need another duck's nest because uh-uh. Most definitely. All right, for now though, we're gonna focus on one thing. Julian. Oh, sir, sir, sir. What? Do I have to give it to him? Like literally give it to him? Oops. Get it, girl! Get it! Or do I just have to give it to- Oh, okay. <laughs> What's this? You two have attempted the recipe of this young man? My mouth is watering trying to fully remember the taste. Yum, 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 yum. Om nom nom. Well, pretty good, right? It's so- You've abused my tongue! How many peppers did you put in it? My brain feels on fire! <laughs> hey man, I just fought the recipe. Beggars can't be choosers. What are you gonna look like? What the heck? Is that sushi? <laughs> the heat from that soup feels like it's melted the gears away. I remember now. I was called wasajiji. Wasajiji. That is sushi on the back of his thing, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, young one, and you as well. Thank you, young one, and you as well, floating walrus. That's crazy. Which one of us is a walrus? <laughs> oh, ho, you've really cleaned out the attic in this old mine. I can see now that I've been very troublesome to this young man. I should find a way to atone for my misdeeds. I think you've done enough in giving him mild lead poisoning. I'm sure he'll be just fine if you clear out of here and go far, far away. What was that? Sorry, my hearing isn't what it used to be. I've seen smoke rising from the old bathhouse. Is that your doing? Ah, <sighs> yes it is. And you can come rest your old corpse of a body if you bring us proper currency. We won't be accepting random bits you find on the ground as payment. Oh, indeed. Then I will have to learn what mortals collect these days. Thank you. I will see you soon. Oh man, that was a lot of work. <laughs> Take your time. Oh, okay. 
we get to have it back. <laughs> okay, so I'm curious. Do I just have to, like, start a shift at the bathhouse in order to see, um, whatchamacallit? Like, in order to, to get my helpers helping? I don't know, but we're definitely gonna see, because I need another freaking bird's nest, dude. I need another one. So we're gonna go and start a shift at the bathhouse. And depending on if I can figure out how to... Um, wow, we're really broke. I did a lot of buying. I bought a lot of ingredients just for no reason. <laughs> but if I can figure out how to do it, like get the helpers working, then I will. But until then, I, I'll, 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 I'll only show it. I'll only show something if something goes on. So we'll do that. Okay. It, it's whenever you, whatchamacallit. Okay, so, Lee, I definitely, um, let's put him in washer. Washer, and then, scrubber or towel runner? Let's do towel runner. <gasps> oh my god, shut up. Oh, nice. I'm gonna love this. All right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and get you here. And then I just want to see them in action. See them actually working. Girl, I'm like, Kim, why are you looking around, Kim? You got a bunch of things to wash. Oh my god, I love this. Lee, you a little slow, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hold you, you a little bit slow. Why is he holding it on his head? Lee's a little special. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Um, anyways, we have duty to, to, to attend to as well, so let's get started. While Lee is very slow, I don't know. I don't know about all this Lee. <laughs> So I'm going back, I was just checking my notes for Lee in his case. And the first thing it says is come back every Monday and Wednesday to check his paintings, right? But I don't know if he, like, do we have to be there? I would assume so. So we might need to hold off on that. And then the other one was Yari, oops. And then Yari's is going to be at the very end here. Yari. Yari was seen exhausted and covered in feathers. I think Yari's at... Yeah, he's probably freaking sleeping. What did Yari do that is just so exhausting to the point where he's still in bed? <laughs> That's my question. But, um... Is it this way to there no oh my god i'm losing my mind i'm losing my mind okay all right only thing i can really do is just wait for him to wake up <laughs> hey i don't remember seeing you hey i don't remember meeting you before i'm yari i come to town every summer oh uh hey anna how's it going not bad, you? Oh, good, yeah, same, same. Boy, get back here. I don't have time to be playing with you. <laughs> Listen, can I tell you something? I've really gotta get this off my chest and confirm I'm not losing it. I, uh, like to get out and go for walks. The other day, I was out walking around and these crows, man, they were being so noisy and aggressive, it was insane. A couple of them were chasing me around even, and I didn't do anything to them to get them so riled up. They were just going bonkers. Anyway, so this third crow comes flying over too, right? And... Dude, they picked me up. I'm not even lying. They legit carried me super high, and I, I really don't like heights. So I kind of blacked out a bit. When I woke up, I was over the mountain. Over by the old rundown bathhouse. Not only that, but a few hours must have gone by. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, 
but I swear I'm not lying about this. You believe me, right? <laughs> of course I do. Thanks, Anna. I knew I could trust you not to judge me. Just seriously stay away from the... Oh, okay. Just seriously stay away from any crows you see. I was just trying to warn you. Okay, you got anything else to say about that, baldy? Okay. Nothing else? Okay. Alright. One yen! Does Yari really think we're going to believe his story about crows picking him up and dropping him on the mountain? It seems a bit far-fetched. Still, if it's true, then it's a very mem- Still, if it's true, then it's a very memorable story about his summer visits to Sandville. So what are we supposed to do? Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, what are we, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what? Girl, okay. I say I had the doggies. I gotta say I had the doggies. Cause like, anytime we go up to the crows. Oh, do we just need to collect a bunch of crows? Is that what's going on? Okay, I can do that. Oh, okay. Okay, because I was going to say, anytime we go up to the crows, they don't really do anything. Anna. Anna. Woo. Gods. I was wondering if you were going to sleep there for all eternity. It seems that Yari was on to something. The crows in town are acting very unusually. Unusually? <laughs> The crows are in town are acting very unusual. This is starting to smell like the work of a spirit. Be careful, Lana. And keep your eyes peeled for crows. While you while you were out cold, I looked around town. One crow in particular was acting odder than the rest. Let's see if we can find that crow while avoiding the others. Hmm, maybe your T-vision could help. Oh joy. So I'm just supposed to supposed to be able to tell, I guess. All right. <laughs> Sure thing, boss. Sure thing. Um, okay. Just real quick, I wanna collect anything I can up here since we since we're up here. All right, so we're on the lookout for a crow acting strange, essentially. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, here's one. All right. Oh. Oops. <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um. So there seems to be crows just kind of everywhere. None of them look too suspicious though. I gotta keep an eye on my T-vision as well. Are the crows down here? Mm. Looks like a normal crow to me. Oh! What do we have here? Raw mortal. Who can see me? I said they're wrong. We finally found you, you manipulative nitwit. You? What is the meaning of this? That's what we're here to ask you, bird brain. Why are you controlling the crows and making them carry people away? And you better hope your answer doesn't anger me even more. It's a cruel world. Cook off! If these. If the mortals aren't going to worship us spirits, then they should at least fear us. Whack. <laughs> That's the wrong <laughs> answer. <laughs> Are you what? I'm I'm starting to get quite angry. Do you know what happens when you <laughs> when one you gets angry? I don't think I care to find out. Wait, you said one in? You're the spirit who lives with the speaker mortal? Me? I did, but she... Hmm? What's this? 
Why do I look like a shade? Have you figured it out yet, or do you need some more monetary encouragement? Dang, why do you do not be caring? This is crazy. Oh, it's actually really cute. Wow. No, I remember now. I was called Coronis. Crow Honest. Oh my god. Wow. That bird is huge. To think that even I would be reduced to, to such a state. It's not your fault, Coronis. Though, carrying people off is pretty darn stupid. Still, it, it's mostly my fault. Whose fault it, it is matters not. We must endeavor to be better. I will see to it that no mortals are bothered by my flock again. We would appreciate that, and it'd be great to see you at the bathhouse sometime. Ah, the bath. The spirit baths. It's been far too long. I will make the trip very soon, and thank you for awakening this old fool. So he's definitely gonna take up six spots. Jeez. Well, hopefully that settles that. Oh wow. Thank <laughs> you.